Hey, Shalom, Pastor Dalby, Brother Dawi, Yehuda. We're here at the uh, Hebrews to Negroes movie, part two. Mm -hmm. Share with the people the significance of this movie to you, mm -hmm. specifically, and the impact that you feel that it's having on the community. Well, you know, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge yes. uh, because they reject knowledge. And now we're living in a day, the time and hour that the Most High Yah is actually revealing his truth to all of us in these last days. And if we know that we're being destroyed for a lack of knowledge, but we receive the knowledge, that means we won't be destroyed. Correct. So it's very important that people receive the truth and the knowledge of it. So because coming to the knowledge of who we are, which the nations in this world despises and don't want us that, they don't want us to know that. I think it's very a good tool for us to be able to come together as one, at least the inception of it has started. Yes. Um, to not only bring a distance away from the pagan associations that we have all been influenced by in the past, mm -hmm. but to continue to keep growing yes. and, and come together as a community. So I'm hoping that this right here would be a significant step for each and every last one of us, to not only to develop good solid relationships with each other, uh, but also to continue forth and so we can be uh, mutually assistant, become a strong community, mm -hmm. become united mm -hmm. um, so that we can actually uh, make an impact not only in our prospective communities but the whole entire world. Yes. So be, being a strong brother like yourself, speak to the significance of men, men, mm -hmm. family, community, region, nation. Speak to the importance of that in, in depositing into the men and how that's going to make a serious impact on the nation. Well, you know, they, we've all been brought up in a matriarchal society mm -hmm. uh, where you see sports figures, you see everybody gives accolades to the mother. Yes. Um, and, and with the movement of the Israelites knowing who they are, discovering exactly who they are, we move from a matriarchal society to a patriarchal society, mm -hmm. meaning that the male rules. So when the man gets into his rightful place, the home will be in his rightful place, then we can raise strong Israelite children uh, that will keep the law, statutes, and commandments, mm -hmm. and um, we can stop a lot of the immorality in our community. Um, we, we can actually bring the people together. Um, we can actually build a nation which the nations don't want us to do. So yes. it's very important that men get into their role and not only get into their role, but be very serious about the impact that they're having, starting with the family. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, that's really good. It's, it's so many places I, I could go with that because it's really rich and necessary for us to grasp where we are in time. Yes, sir as the nation begins to come together that has not been desired. Nobody's wanted us. We've been hated no matter where we are. Mm -hmm. But if we don't love ourselves and love one another that's right. and can come together for something as simple as a movie, then that's problematic. Mm -hmm. So talk, talk, speak to the necessity of community specifically as we begin, because, okay, let me, let me redirect. I feel like what's next mm -hmm. is not just information, it's inspiration mm -hmm. and implementation. You've been at the tip of the spear in terms of implementing some of these things. Speak to your journey, even in the growth and also how necessary that is. You know, our European counterparts, you know, the Gentiles here in this world right here, the last thing that they want is to be able to see us actually come together as one people. Um, the book of Acts, the apostles speak about um, common unity, us being of one heart, one mind, one soul, one spirit. And it's happening. It's happening right now. Um, because without it, we're going to continually be divided. Yes. And if we're divided, our strength is, is fragged, mm -hmm. it's fragmented. So the community and us being able to come together as a community is the strength mm -hmm. because of Israel. Because yes. if you notice where we were in captivity or where we were free from captivity, uh, we was in a tribal format and a tribal setting. Yes. Uh, and our people were together in unity. It's only when we be, uh, was disobedient to the Most High Yah that we end up being scattered mm -hmm. throughout the diaspora and stuff. And once we're scattered, we become weak. Yes. And we become weak and we become and we learn the actual ways of the nations. And we're learning the ways of the nations. They keep us weak because, as you know, as well as I do, it, it keeps us under the curses. Yes. So now that we are understanding and knowing who we are, and we can get the knowledge of the truth to come together in common unity. Mm -hmm. We can no longer be weakened as a nation. Mm -hmm. We can become very powerful mm -hmm. and be really, truly strengthened. Yes. And it's gonna take a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, but people must know that the first uh, sword that's gonna come is gonna come straight from your own family. Because mm -hmm. even your own family don't have any understanding. Yes. They don't want this. 
They don't want this because uh, they are so used to being inside of the matrix. Yes. And they're so used to functioning inside this that they can't even fathom yes. uh, uh, actually function outside this because there's such a, a welfare mentality that's been developed. There's an entitlement mentality where people have depended upon the very system that has actually kept us in bondage. Yes. And the system has kept us in slavery. So not only uh, are we not really truly free naturally, but mentally, yes. we've got to get out there and break the chains that's on these minds right here so that we can only be free in spirit, but also in truth. Hallelujah. Speak as as we bring this to a close. I know you have to go speak a word of encouragement to those who have been rejected by their family, who, who feel maybe a little disillusioned, mm -hmm. who maybe feel like, am I crazy? Maybe not, mm -hmm. because we all go through that. But speak a word of encouragement and life to those who may be experiencing that. Sure. What everybody has to understand out there is that the most high y'all gives us uh, two orders. First, that which is natural and then that which is spiritual. If your natural family has rejected the law, statutes, and commandments, rejected the Messiah, they have no understanding. That means the Most High is not dealing with them. So once you're born again or born from above or renewed, uh, you have a new family, yes. a new family that you'll come into. Now, that family you came into has already been called and accepted by the Most High Yah. And if your family you know, if he's not dealing with them, then you're going to have to make a transition in your mind to get with those of like precious mind and faith. Mm. Uh, because if they don't have any comprehension or understand, they're going to fight your tooth and nail. And I often say that the Hasatan only has control over those who are submitted to him at his will. Yes. Anytime somebody is fighting against you, when you're keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, but they never said anything about you when you was living an immoral life. Yes. When you were very loose. Yes. Are, are you following me? You know that that person is under the influence of the Hasatan. Yes. Well said. Uh, tell the people where they can find you, Pastor Dow, uh, how they can get in contact with you if they want uh, more information and more inspiration like you just provided. Well, they can get in contact with me uh, by way of the website, www.straightway, and it's spelled S T R. AITWAY.com, or they can go to my YouTube page, Pastor Dow. There's a great present there, and I have used the information in the description um, a block down there. They can catch and, and um, see me on Blog Talk Radio or any one of the other outlets that I have. I have a plethora of ways that you can contact us if you choose to. Thank you for, for your time. I appreciate yes, it. Sir. It's, long, been, it's, been, it's been uh, a pleasure to meet you. Elder. Yes, sir. All right, Pastor. Long, long. Take care. All right.